It's not even fun anymore. Fantastic Beast 3, The Secrets of Dumbledore, is the third movie in the series that really didn't need to be a series, written by an author that, on top of feeling the need to run her career into the ground, can't write a fucking screenplay to save her life. I actually didn't mind the first Fantastic Beast movie. It was fun, it recaptured the same sense of wonder that the early Harry Potter movies had, it had likable characters, it was solid. Crimes of Grindelwald bored me to tears and put my mom to sleep, and this one very nearly put me to sleep. I almost considered walking out of this movie because of how bad it was. Let that sink in. I've sat through all these movies that were just as bad, and not once did I ever think about leaving, and yet it was the Fantastic Beast threequel that nearly broke this camel's back. But honestly, this movie was breaking me, man. It was one of the most nothing movies I've ever seen. It was just a bunch of boring scenes of boring characters delivering boring exposition about boring wizard politics. Oh yeah, it's a political commentary film now, because well, J.K. Rowling. The whole movie's plot centers around an election that Grindelwald has infiltrated by using the fake wizard news media to rally a bunch of people behind him so he can go to war with the muggles. And the only thing that can determine his victory is this dear dragon thing that can look into a person's soul and see how much of a good person they are. Not only is this plot riddled with so many holes and inconsistencies, like how the same powerful wizards that would eventually send Voldemort into the shadows for being too evil and power hungry would gladly let this fuckwit tear apart the world. But the political commentary in this movie is so unsubtle. When Grindelwald is pardoned of all his crimes, there's a newspaper clipping that says Grindelwald triumphs, but I honestly thought it said Grindelwald trumps. Hell, for all I know, that is what it said. On top of this, the movie was way too long, the characters had been reduced to planks of wood, and like I said, it's just a bunch of characters going from place to place, having conversations, and nothing about it is interesting. The only thing I can kind of give this movie is that the acting isn't the worst. There are some stinkers throughout, like Jessica Williams sounds like she's reading her lines like she's narrating an audiobook, but Jude Law is still solid as Dumbledore, and Mads Mikkelsen is probably the best Grindelwald in all three of these movies. But beyond that, this movie was a chore to sit through. If I wasn't doing this video, then I probably wouldn't have seen it. And honestly, going forward, I think I'm done with the Harry Potter franchise. I mean, I kinda already was before this movie, but this was the final nail in the coffin. Please don't see this movie. I know some of you may be compelled to see it because of the LGBT representation, but at the end of the day, you're still supporting a transphobic dunce that cares more about her own ego than actually enacting any meaningful chains, or showing support for the people she claims to care so much about. If you want to see a good, well-written show about wizards, and magical creatures that has LGBT representation, just watch The Owl House. But anyway, I'd give Fantastic Beast 3 a 1.5 out of 5.